First open Start and type CMD. Right click Command Prompt and select Run as Administrator. Press Yes. Type the following command then press Enter. Now type this command and press enter. Now type this command and press enter. Type exit and press enter. Restart and your problem should be fixed. If that didn't work, first open Start and type Reg Edit. Open your registry editor. Press Yes. Expand H key local machine. Expand software. Expand Microsoft. Expand Windows NT. Expand current version. Expand multimedia. Select system profile. Right click network throttling index. Select modify. In value data type 8 consecutive F letters. Press OK. Now go back to H key local machine. Expand system. Expand current control set. Expand services. Expand TCP IP. Expand parameters. Expand interfaces. Look for the folder that has a lot of registry entries. Right-click the empty space. Select New. Now select DWORD 32-bit value. Name it TC Pack Frequency and then press Enter. Right-click the empty space again. Select New. Select 32-bit value. Name it TCP no delay and then press enter. Right-click TC pack frequency. Select modify. Change the value from 0 to 1. Press OK. Right-click TCP no delay. Select modify. Change the value from 0 to 1. Press OK. Go back to H key local machine. Expand software. Expand Microsoft. Right click the Microsoft folder and select New. Click on Key. Rename it to MSMQ. If you already have the MSMQ folder just click on it. Right click the empty space. Select New. Now select DWORD 32-bit value. Name it TCP no delay and then press Enter.
Press Enter. Right click TCP No Delay. Select Modify. Change the value from 0 to 1. Press OK. Right click the empty space and select New. Select key. Rename the folder to Parameters. Select the Parameters folder. Right click the empty space and select New. Now select DWORD 32 bit value. Name it TCP no delay and then press enter. Press enter. Right click TCP no delay. Select modify. Change the value from 0 to 1. Press OK. If you want to undo the changes, double click your backup file. Press yes. Press yes. Restart and your problem should be fixed.